so good to know you're there. My name is Chioma Okpara. Welcome to Art and Leisure. Today we're focusing on a project we started eight years ago. Life in My City Art Festival promotes creativity through excellence and reward. Every October, a week is set aside for exhibitions, workshops, and a grand finale. I'll enjoy you to keep a cup of juice by your side as we take this trip to a new good. Yes, it's all of us. <laughs> this is the exhibition hall of the National Gallery of Art in Nugu. 113 art pieces collected from 11 zones are displayed here. When we call for submissions from uh, young artists who are below 35, we have received 600, 600 works. The juries at the different zones selected 129 works. From these, the organizing committee approved 113 works for the grand finale exhibition. This year, the artists worked on the theme, Less is More. It is believed that less is more when the artist reaches out to the world through his or her creative imagination. The title of the work is um, Less is More, the cheerful giver. You can see coins. Why I decided to use the coins is because my my message behind this, the work is that you must not be rich before you, you give. I'm tired of you know, using human figures, to like, so I decided to come up with an idea of using hands. So you can see, so I decided to use the hands to form the map of Africa. So by coming together in oneness, so I believe Africa will make a better future. This work we are seeing here is titled Marriage Degeneration, but degeneration to be precise. It's talking about the deviation of standard marriage ordained by God. You know, in this temporary society now, different kinds of marriages emerges. Therefore, different people at different religions practice the same, different kind of marriages. A clear look at the picture will show you a marriage between a man and a woman on a white background, which shows the normal marriage ordained by God. Then the second picture there shows us a, a marriage between a man and his fellow man, which is called gay. Some countries probably are practicing it somewhere, but not here in Nigeria. Then the third picture is trying to show is a marriage between a woman and her fellow woman, which we call lesbianism. Then coming to the fourth picture, we have a man kissing a dog. That means the man is actually getting wedding to the dog. It's called bestialism. Likewise, the fifth picture, a picture of a woman and a pig, which is also known as bestialism. Therefore, if this standard of marriage from this black background which shows abnormality, deviates to this bestialism stage. It will go to a stage whereby will lead the, mar the marriage will lead the people that practice it into danger, which is the burning skull. Nobody knows what God's consequences may be, but for sure, whenever we deviate from God's standard of marriage or any principle of God, generally we know that there should be a consequence. This is a, a painting, and um, I title this Insurgent Exploits. I'm actually trying to explain that is, um, the issue concerning Boko Haram and Nigeria as a whole. So the ants here uh, represents the soldiers of Boko Haram. And this apple here represents Nigeria as a whole. And the blood spills here shows the effect which this Boko Haram has caused in Nigeria. So if you find that you see that they, they've so eaten into the apple and it has caused bloodshed in Nigeria. So it shows the bomb blast and the life they've wasted so far. So that is what this part is talking about. And if you look at the background, you find that people are here yelling, crying, and you see victims of bomb blasts and all that. It shows those people that it has affected so far in our country. And here in this book, I wrote down the, the states that it has affected, like um, the Jaws, Abuja, and so on. So from what I'm trying to explain here, I'm just trying to show forth how, how this whole thing has cost us a lot and how we can possibly put an end to it. And that is by affecting the source through which they come into the, the whole incident. They're young, promising professionals, and they seem well positioned. Let's call that a tip of the iceberg. Life in My City Art Festival is a real festival. There were workshops for children, adults, exhibitions, and so much more. It started eight years ago, and so many people have keyed into it. Watch this. 
Andy Amadio Korafos, an accomplished creative director and filmmaker. He's from Abia State, but he lives in Paris. He's come to take creative minds on a multimedia workshop. I've lived longer abroad than in Nigeria. I left when I was quite young and and I wanted to inspire people here because we're always, you know, most of us don't have opportunity to meet somebody like me every day and I think this is a nice place to be able to come and share knowledge and I've had a lot of gifts given to me by God, by people, by providence, by, you know, so it's time to now share. What makes me want to share is I think uh, the youth of Nigeria don't have the access to a lot of, they have more access but then they don't have access to a lot of other things which is, you know, ways to express themselves. They're always, you know, just to love themselves and use their environment to create something exceptional that the world can like, you know. So we did Nollywood here, which nobody believed will, will succeed on its own. So that little things can be done here. I want to inspire the youth to do something else with their lives. And I'll look at my story to be a story that can inspire them. And because I'm not, my parents are not very wealthy, I'm, you know, I'm not like a first class opera or anything, but you know, I've done something with my life and I think anybody can do, you know, with their lives. So that's why I'm coming here and I'm doing conferences all over the world. So it's nice to do one in my own place, you know. It was down to earth with them, using examples they can relate to. Because most people are from the creative field, from photography to graphic design. So this is really in the field that I, I work in, you know. I, I saw, and I want them to, sh to learn from my experiences, learn from my, you know, from the knowledge I've had, learn from the inspiration that I might give to them, and then also inspire them mostly to just love themselves and be exceptional, you know, in what they do. That's basically it. I'm trying to create uh, an online magazine for Linkaf, you know, or with Linkaf about or about arts here. And I want I want it to be their project. I want it to do with me. I want it to be something because they're all on mobile phones doing nonsense. They can do something, you know, and that's what people do all over the world. And I want to inspire them to do something concrete so that five years together we can sit here and say, ah, I remember that guy. I was part of the conference when he said he was going to do this, and then they will see because we're going to do it, you know. After listening with rapt attention. They say they're going to set the world on fire with their creativity. Right now I'm thinking about so many things that I can achieve. The materials they use, font, wire to create your own font, your own style. Other, the names of photograph, photographers like Mark Baptist, Alex, Lisa Rose, and so many others. He taught us that Everything is all about chatting and Facebooking. There are so many things one can do with his phone or laptop, phones and laptops. The number one thing I'm taking away is the, the boldness and the level of creativity, the out of the world approach. Some people say out of the box. Do you understand? That's the actual thing I'm taking away. It has even given me confidence. I have this kind of idea within me. But with what I've seen today, I think I am emboldened and I think I I am now <laughs> energized to take it off. I just really have to do something. The workshop was very interesting. I learned a lot about the life of Mr. Andy and um, the way he tackled some challenges and the working abroad. Even though he had stayed so much abroad out of Nigeria, he also decided to come back and, and um, spare us. I believe from the workshop so far, I've learned a lot. And I'm also encouraged by the stories he gave with his life. Now, even without out of dust, I can still get there. This multimedia workshop is taking place for the first time in Life in My City Art Festival, and this won't be the last. My goal is to come back every year. It, 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 wouldn't, it wouldn't be me doing the conferences or the uh, workshops or things like that. But my goal is to come back every year. But it doesn't have to be me doing the conference. But I want to bring people to come to Limcaf. Because I, I know a lot of creative people from all over the world, I want them to come here and do stuff here. Welcome back. Indeed, things are looking up for the visual arts subsector. Thank you so much, Andy Amadi Okora, for, for that huge investment. He came from Paris, picked all his bills, all to teach young artists everything he knows about multimedia. And trust me, he knows a lot. All right, now it is time for us to see the Photo Africa exhibition. Stay. The organizers of Life in My City Art Festival are driven by passion. They never run out of ideas. Two years ago, Photo Africa was introduced. This is the third edition of Photo Africa. 
the Pan-African Photographic Competition for, of course, at the same time, artists who are under 35 years of age. And um, this year, we had a total collection of 66 artworks from 12 African countries. The countries are Nigeria, Senegal, Egypt, Ghana, Cameroon, Gambia, Uganda, Algeria, Mali, Swaziland, and Madagascar. These are young Africans telling the African story. They were told to document life in their cities. Africans are dogged, hardworking, and creative. Out of these 31 artists whose works were selected for the final exhibition, only one winner will go home with $1,000. Indeed, Africans telling the African story using the Photo Africa platform. Now to the grand finale of Life in My City Art Festival. <laughs> 27 people won prizes, one of them being the overall winner. How much did he or she go home with? You'll find out if you stick around. Life in My City Art Festival is an art competition for Nigerian artists who are resident in the country. Only those who are 35 years old and below can participate. Early this year, there was a call for entries. 600 works were received from 11 collection centers, namely Abuja, Aochibini Zone, Kalaba, Enugu, Ibado, Jos, Kaduna, Lagos, Owere, Port Harcourt, and Uyo. Juries at the different zones selected 129 works. Life in My City Organizing Committee approved 113 works for the grand finale exhibition. These 27 people are sponsored to Enugu um, and they are also taken care of while in Enugu because we are sure that all of them are either going to win a major prize or a consolation prize. Four erudite scholars and an art patron had the task of attaching different prizes to the works. We actually um, used a scoring rubric that is well tested um, and we narrowed it down to physically, you know, four major areas um, for the scoring. We have the formal qualities, we have the thematic relevance, we have the originality of the concept as well as technical proficiency. Three persons won 250,000 Naira each. They are Brendan Emmanuel Chinonso in the painting, mixed media and drawing category. Mba Muruche Mela in photography, multimedia and video category. And Okonkwo Onye Dikapita in graphics and textile category. 100,000 Naira Justice and Niagolu Prize for originality was won by Ezen Nia Onyinye. Her piece is titled Hope from Within. A February Ibrahim's piece titled Deadly Addiction fetched him 100,000 Naira in the CCAC Prize for Best Lagos Entry. Mfor Usoro Prize for the Best Uyo Kalaba Entry was won by Esang Etim Efiong. He got 100,000 Naira for his piece titled Less Mosquitoes, Save More. Enugu State Council for Art and Culture Prize was won by Candidos Onyishi China Golum. He received 100,000 Naira for his piece titled Small But Mighty. Onadipe Ulumide Luk won 50,000 Naira in Art is Everywhere category. His piece is titled Clarion Call. Vin Martinillo Prize for the best Enugu Zone entry went to Idei Inzubechi. Her piece is titled Degeneration. Mohamed Wassem, an Egyptian, won in the Photo Africa competition. He received $1,000. Omeji Ngozi Apolonia is the overall winner for this 2014 edition of Life in My City Art Festival. Her work, which is titled Placenta Fechta 500,000 Naira. I feel wonderful. I feel great. The material is clay. Clay seems to be the cheapest material you, you one can find here in Nigeria. And then uh, I specialize in ceramics. So working with clay is not uh, unusual. This 
placenta. After delivery, nobody remembers it again. We just talk about the baby. But without the help of this placenta, the baby wouldn't have fed in the womb and then the baby wouldn't have been there in the first place. Winners also emerged from the children's workshop. I felt very happy. In fact, I was so happy that I, want, I can almost cry. For eight years, Life in My City Art Festival has been rewarding young Nigerian artists for their creativity. It is the brainchild of Mr. Robert Oji. I feel very delighted, very happy, very... It's quite an encouraging story. I never expected it this way. I thought it's something that I can do as soon as I'm getting tired, uh, getting old, I can just leave it aside. But now, others have joined, so I'm very, very happy. I'm quite sure, and the lecturers confirmed to me, that the projects the people do for their degrees, both first and second degrees, they do not put as much effort in them as they do for this competition. So when you see that happening, you are bound to be caught up in the excitement, in the commitment, in the desire for fulfillment. As a patron and a special guest of honor, Igwe Nemeka Achebe expressed delight at how things are looking up for the visual arts subsector. Even in contemporary times, Africa has come of age again. We are reasserting ourselves in the whole world uh, in terms of uh, contemporary art. And the uh, African artists, uh, Nigerian artists, their works are going all over the world. If you follow the, the arts business and the arts world, um, Africa is the next, in fact, has broken through uh, into the world scene in terms of, um, in terms of visual art. Over the years, the French government has thrown his weight behind this project. This uh, project has become maybe the most uh, efficient and the most famous project to promote the young uh, Nigerian creators. So that's why we continue to support them. Everybody is impressed by the creativity of the, uh, the young artists. Most of them uh, are very young. They didn't uh, uh, make studies in art and they are talented. This program has brought together artists, art collectors, and other art enthusiasts. I wish to commend the artists of this magnificent art pieces. It is the events of the nature of this nature that serve to make Nigeria the destination of tourists globally. I salute your creativity. The organizers keep the winning works in their custody. We may have to uh, auction some of the works. Like to get our respected uh, art collectors to partake in this exercise. This event was not all about awards. Sopolo and African vocals performed to the delight of the audience. Oh, Organizing this event every year is not without hassles. What has kept Live in My City Art Festival going, uh, first of all, I would say is the determination of the organizers, um, the commitment, the sacrifice of individuals who are involved in the organizing committee, 
and of course the members of the Board of Life in my city. Um, I must say that the funding received for this project is absolutely inadequate um, and therefore these individuals and members and some of them senior citizens are spending their energy and their time um, just to make sure that the festival continues. The theme for next year's edition of Life in My City Art Festival is beyond all odds. They are trying to give opportunity for young Nigerian artists to create within that theme, of course, giving it their own interpretation. Um, however you're looking at it, whether you are looking at how you are confronting your challenges, how you are overcoming them, or how you are interpreting your um, environment, of course, remember that this is within the bounds of life in my city. So I'm sure there will be various interpretations um, as they are coming up with entries next year. Life in My City Art Festival is regarded as the largest garden of artists and stakeholders of visual arts in Nigeria. Only young professionals and students of fine arts can participate in the competition. Wow, I hope we've given you value for your time. That was how the grand finale of Life in My City Art Festival 2014 edition went. You know you can always watch this and other episodes at your convenience. Just go to www.artandleisure.com.ng Please leave comments afterwards. Please. <laughs> My name is Chioma Okwara, God willing. My crew and I will be here same time next week with something new. Until then, love yourself, love Nigeria.